Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on the iPhone X. Begin by powering down the device, then take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws from the bottom of the device. Once they're removed, take a razor blade and create a small gap between the chassis of the phone and the edge of the screen. Then in the small gap that you just created, take a plastic opening pick and create a larger gap so that you can slide the pick along the edge of the device, separating the screen from the frame. Work your way along the right hand edge, the bottom edge, and then the left hand edge. Don't worry about the top edge because that should just pop out. We can see that this battery has been replaced in the past. Before going any further, it's a good idea to put a heavy weighted object behind the screen to stop it from falling over and then add a few drops just underneath the battery to allow that to start soaking in whilst we remove the screen. The iPhone X is one of my favorite phones to work on because to open it up, you only need to use a tri-wing screwdriver and you can remove the battery or replace the screen. Remove the five tri-wing screws that hold down the shield just here. Then use tweezers to lift it up. Now take a plastic spudger and disconnect the battery, isolating power from the device. It's a good idea to, now to remove the screen as well because that will get in the way or risk becoming damaged whilst we're removing the battery. So use the plastic spudger to disconnect this cable, this cable, and finally this cable just here. You can now pull the screen away from the device. Just be careful here because this flex cable is stuck down. Just gently pull it upwards to release it freeing the screen. Whilst the alcohol is soaking in under the battery further, it's a good idea to clean up the chassis. So just take some tweezers and remove all the leftover adhesive that's left behind on the chassis. I'll also clean up this frame with some isopropyl alcohol. Just add a bead of it along the edge and then take a brush like a toothbrush and carefully scrub away all the leftover adhesive, dust and grime that gets stuck in there. Just be careful whenever you're working on this top edge because the sensors for the base idea are up here. So just be very gentle with your brush. Don't go scrubbing the life out of it and damaging that sensor. That should have allowed the alcohol that we squirted underneath the battery enough time to soak in and soften the adhesive now. So I'm gonna take some straight tweezers and try and grab hold of this bit of adhesive pull tab just underneath here and then try and carefully remove it without snapping it. Notice how I wiggle it from side to side. That always helps remove them. So that's the first one removed successfully. There's another three to go though, so I wouldn't hold your breath that we'll do it without busting one. The key here is to grab the whole part of the, of the adhesive tab. Sometimes it can separate into two parts and then that's when they snap, I find. It looks like we've got all of it on this one. So wiggle it about a little bit. That one snapped, unfortunately. That's the longer of the three, but we did get a fair bit of it out before it did snap. in one and then the final one this one's the shorter of the three should come out quite easily now I did snap it a little bit but it's still we've still got a bit of a hold on it and that's released for this one on the end because we didn't get it out fully and if yours snap take a plastic prying tool like this Carefully insert it underneath here and just pry up gently. That's what we call the pry of shame. 
I am just going to wipe up any of that alcohol that's left behind. And reinstallation is just a case of reversing the steps that we've just taken. Starting off with our new battery. This is a TX Pro brand one. These come from a company called The Screen Surgery here in the UK. And they're decent batteries. I've had no issues with them up to now. We've been using them for a few months. They come with the adhesive pre-applied, so all we need to do is peel back that pink tape. It's a really good idea when you're doing this to first connect up the battery here, and that's gonna help us line up the new battery so it's not sat too high or too low. So connect it first. You're not gonna do any harm by connecting it, and then place it down, apply pressure, and that means that the battery will connect perfectly into the FPC that it sits into there. Once the battery's in and you've applied some pressure to make sure that it's secured down, disconnect the battery connector and then take a new adhesive seal for the edges. Install it first into the top corner, line it up along this left hand edge and then the rest of it should follow suit, sitting nicely around those edges. Run the wide end of the plastic spudger down the edges to make sure that it's secured properly. And peel back the first layer of the film. And if it's stuck good, only that layer will come away with it. Before reinstalling the screen, just make sure that any adhesive is removed from the back of the display. This is something I often see missed and it can cause this, the screen not to sit properly. Reconnect the connector for the OLED panel. The touch panel is a little bit more difficult and I usually use the spudger just to help me sit it in because I've got quite flat fingers. Pop the heavy object behind the screen again and then line up the cable for the ear speaker. Now we can reconnect the battery connector then place down the protective shield. There are three small screws, one really long screw, and one screw that's slightly shorter than the really long one. Two small one go, two small screws go in the bottom and next one up. Then right in the middle of the five screws is the longest one. Then it's a short one again. It's really easy for this cable to get snagged underneath this shield. So just make sure when you're putting this top screw in that the cable's not snagged. And the screw's nice and tight. Finally, before sealing this one up, I'm gonna remove this blue protective film from the battery. last layer of the protective film that sits on top of the dust and moisture resistant seal. And carefully peel that back. To reinstall the screen, make sure that it sits in at the very top first. Then squeeze in the left hand edge. For this right hand edge, you want to make sure that this cable here doesn't sit between the screen and the chassis. So just poke it in before closing it up. Once it's even all the way around, that means it's ready to turn back on. Whilst it's turning on, we can reinstall the two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Wipe off my mucky fingerprints, and then double check that the battery health has gone back to 100%. That just about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.